hi everybody uh, in this video we are going to discuss the surgical incisions another very interesting basic topic in surgery or i should say medical science so let's start with this surgical incisions let's see what is there and on this surgical incisions in this uh, video we are going to discuss in this series these are the various parts part 1 2 up to 7 what i planned and the part 1 surgical incisions we are going to discuss the names various names and types of incisions in the part 2 followed by the specific incisions that are usually placed over the abdominal area and in the part 3 over the thoracic area the incisions we are going to discuss in the part 4 over the neck and followed by in part 5 over the head region along with the limbs if possible in the part 6 a uh, basic concept of uh, incisions placed during minimal axis surgery and finally in the part 7 the important points regarding incisions and the summary of all the previous parts the important points the pearls for this topic so we are going to cover this surgical incisions in seven parts okay And any problem you can just this is my mail id shyam.mishra13579 gmail this is the website url few things i have already placed there it is developing and you can access and this is my whatsapp number any problem you can directly contact me or give a, a message there and there's an instagram logo where you can directly follow it for the latest updates so in this video the part 1 let's start with the incisions as you all know for any surgical procedure placing a well planned surgical incision is a, a very crucial step why because this is going to decide how easily how ergonomically we are going to do the surgical procedure and why for getting a desired outcome a, a successful outcome so well planned surgical incision is very important and determining the proper location of the incision is going to help us how it is going to help us it is important for optimal visualization and during placing an incision we must consider the anatomy the relevant anatomy along with the blood supply because obviously if you are going to cut the skin and the layers present below the skin obviously we are going to jeopardize the blood supply of that area so these things should be kept in mind while placing any type of incision to minimally damage the blood supply so as to have an healthy flap for coverage later on after completing the procedure and even for cosmetic purpose aesthetical reasons the exact placement and the size of the incision both the 
exact site and size of the incision they are important and these things are important for cosmetic reasons also right if we are planning for some minimal access surgery or minimal entrance is required even in open surgery then smaller incisions are required and these are the best choice right small duration procedure requiring a minimal entrance or exposure just put smaller incision sufficient to sufficient for that particular procedure but in case of massive trauma for example or when we want to remove a large organ or when we don't know the exact pathology inside and we are planning for some exploratory laparotomy or thoracotomy a larger incision is required why larger incision is required obviously for most and best exposure obviously for best exposure large incision is required okay in this video we are going to discuss the different types of incisions their indications and considering the various important anatomical considerations wherever required and this is a series of seven videos so this is the first video we are discussing we'll go slowly but we'll try to cover the things as you all know the anterior abdominal wall contains various muscle layers the facial layers and various neurovascular bundles and the linea alba this is basically an relatively an avascular facial plane the linea alba it divides the rectus into two sides in midline midline of the abdomen and in the lateral abdominal wall it contains various muscles just to name some the external obliques the internal obliques and the transverse abdominis right broadly speaking for anterior abdominal wall we must consider these five groups of blood supply the arteries the inferior epigastric artery along with the superficial branch of the inferior epigastric that is superficial inferior epigastric then the superior epigastric artery the branches of the internal mammary arteries in the midline just by the side of the midline both the sides and the various perforating branches of the obliques external internal obliques between each muscle layer there is a facial layer and it provides support and a structure to the musculature that is present in our anterior abdominal wall and other sides also just to name some randomly i'm just naming here the various types of incision the named incisions quickly we'll go through the names the midline incisions later on we'll discuss the important points regarding each of them the midline incisions the coccus or subcostal incision the paramedian grid iron or macburnies the right iliac fossa then lands and rocky davis again in the right iliac fossa the thoracic abdominal or ivor lewis incision chevron incision followed by this fenestiel or carpubic incision macavity infraclavicular supraclavicular the median is anatomy the trap door incision the clamshell and 
I'm just naming various types of instances commonly used for specific purposes. And then Mercedes Benz, the Supramblical, Inframblical, the Pararectus, the Maillard or Mackenrod, Gibson, various inguinal incisions, various neck incisions, followed by various incisions used in minimal access surgery and other incisions that are infrequently used. For example, the various incisions used in limbs, the head reasons in neurosurgical open procedures and so on. Now, I don't think that any of one of us can remember all these incisions in this order. So just to make it easier to understand, what I have done, I have divided all these named incisions into various groups. So we can, just for the purpose of discussion, we can divide it into the open surgery incisions, like here, you can see, and the minimal access surgery incisions, right? In minimal access surgery in season, the laparoscopic or thoracoscopic, neuroendoscopic, soft tissue, endoscopic, and orthroscopic, all these are various groups. And incisions basically for insertion of port. And we'll later on discuss in subsequent part the baseball diamond concept of putting incision so in minimal access surgery right with target organ approach and similarly in the limbs just for an example fasciotomy how to do how to place an incision for fasciotomy very commonly required all these things we will discuss in the subsequent groups in head reason the craniotomy incision the parotidectomy, incision for parotidectomy, the autoplasty, oculoplasty, rhinoplasty. I think all of you are aware of these terms. If not, I'll later on explain it. Just write down in the comment. In cliff clip and palate, the incisions required, the mastoidectomy, and so on. There are other incisions also in the head reason. In the neck reason, the commonly encountered one is for carotid incision, for endarterectomy, the thyroidectomy incision, tracheostomy, for uh, neck dissection, incisions are used, the modified radical neck dissection, MRND, and their modifications, commando operation, then supraclavicular incisions, and others. Similarly, in the thoracic area, here, the infraclavicular, median sternotomy, the trapdoor, clamshell, Ivor Lewis, Mercedes bench, all these things, these are basically related to the thoracic region. So I have divided all the incisions that are listed here depending on the site. Somewhat they are just overlapping, but most of the incisions I have correctly listed here. Then abdomen, the midline, paramedian, the cocker, the chevron, supra and inframblical, the pararectus, the grid iron or McBurney's, the lange or Rocky Davis, followed by Millard and McEnrod, Gibson, various inguinal incisions for inguinal hernias, then Fenestil, Kerpubic, McEvity, and there are others also. So, most of the incisions mentioned in this table we are going to discuss one by one few important points and in the subsequent videos so just stay with me after going through the various types of incisions and after classifying them or enlisted enlisting them depending on the site few important messages before why it is important to uh, have a proper knowledge of correctly placed incision is 
because it is going to give us an ergonomically performed, better performed operative procedure with good outcome. So in this video, the take home message is the site of incision is important. Length of incision is also important and they should be very clearly defined before any operation pre-planned discussion should be there among the team members, members of the team. Then the blood supply is very important. We must take care of the blood supply, the underlying blood supply and the type of incision will depend upon the type of procedure what we are planning. So these four important things are very important, uh, very necessary. The site of incision, the length of incision, the blood supply and the type of procedure. And depending on these four factors, we must plan our incision, right? So that is all in this video. I have given you the introductory part and in the second part, we'll start with the abdomen followed by in the third part, the thoracic incisions. So stay with me. See you in the second part. Bye-bye. Thank you.